Welcome to part two of the Epirus campaign. In the last episode, we had a lot of success, but right now, I'm at a little bit of a crossroads. Uh, the Julii about to attack Tarentum, and the Senate of Rome putting pressure on Capua. Um, I was a little stuck, but in the end, I decided to go all out on Rome. Will it work? Let's find out. Okay, good. I'm liking this a little bit better. Or am I? They're in range of Tarentum. Which I don't like. The rebels are blocking me off, which I didn't want. Hmm. Do I have a general round here? I could pick one up from Salona, but nowhere else. Can I just squeeze one round? Nope. I'm thinking of building a little fort here, keeping them trapped in. Right, I'll give that a go. Meanwhile, this army, yeah, leave behind the weaker unit and go for the Senate. All right, they pulled back to Rome. What are, what's Publius going to do? He's going to fight this. Oh, do I really want to fight this though? What do they have? All right, that army I should be able to handle. The second army, yeah, I should be able to beat it. It's more because I want to avoid the walls. I don't like fighting sieges, especially when it's a phalanx army. Because, you know, they do terrible on the walls. So I think I've got to fight this one. Against Publius and Marcus. Come on, Pyrrhus, good luck. Alright then, soldiers, get in position. They're coming from all the way over there. I would have liked to have gotten on the bridge, but yeah, sadly that was a bit out of reach. Right, so you set up like that. We have the high ground. Massive cav advantage. We can win this. Well, I, I know I can win it, but it's about winning it with minimal losses. Right, are they pulling back? Alright, then we push forwards. Alright, yeah, they are moving forwards. Right, cavalry, go. Go, get behind them quick. Right, can they actually put their phalanxes down? Oh, why are the phalanxes up? I didn't put them up, I don't think. Right, yeah, phalanxes down. There we go. Archers now firing. Good. Right, we're in a good spot. Right, take out the velites. Oh, you know what? Uh, maybe not. Don't go full on in there. Right, you go around. Try and get their general. Right, good. They hit the velites, then pull out. Got a good charging. Maybe go in again. They're throwing their peeler. Ah, the stupid cavalry flanking me wherever. Yeah, on every single side. That's so annoying. Alright. Alright, are you ready for this, Pyrrhus? Right, you charging there. You charging there. Good. Surround them. Kill the general. Good, we got him killed. Right. Now, pull this cavalry back. I don't want to engage with these yet. Yeah, that's Principes, right. Now bring this cav unit round here to help out over on this side. Phalanxes, can you just start pricking them a little bit? Perfect, perfect, we got them. Where are you off? Come on, get over here. Alright, uh, good, they're running away. That's okay. That's okay. Right, regroup here. Uh, phalanxes, you fight them. Pyrrhus, you don't have to get in there as well. Ah, that's, that's perfect. Alright, and at this point, this front here is mostly won, I think. Yeah, just engage the Principes with our phalanxes, and then that should be it. Uh, what's happening over here? Yeah, get the elephants safe. Archers have stopped firing, good. Charge their triari, we should be okay for that. Uh, actually, Pyrrhus, pull back a bit. Uh, no point risking it like that. Uh, good, we got rid of them. Now charge the Velites. Oh, they, they came back. That's not good, right. Uh, you get back over here. Why am I losing so many troops? Ah, I think they're through the peeler. Yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, right, we're going to have to charge these Principes. And then that should be them done at that point. Yeah, they broke off too. Good. And this squad here broke. They've broken, they've broken. And that's the army destroyed. Uh, is their general going to get away? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're more tired than he is. Yeah, okay, right. Cavalry regroup over here. And gotta do it quick as well. 
Are we a little tired? We are a little bit, but we should be fine. Um, right. I want you to face a little bit more that way. Alright, we've got another cav unit here, but that's okay. I might actually keep them on the back reserve line. That way, this time we're prepared for when they do flank around the phalanx. Alright, are you ready? I think we are. Alright, and so it begins the big battle, Pyrrhus versus the Roman Empire. Here we go, this is the big one. Their general's right there. Right, could we hit their cav on the side? Okay, right, pause, this is all too much for me. It's been a while since I played Rome Total War. I don't feel as fast today with my reactions. Right, so, hit him. Uh, start is there, that's fine. Uh, right, everyone in for the general then. I uh, invade charge, that's town watch, I'm fine with town watch charging me. Right, all in for the general now. Uh, that's another heavy unit right there. Come on, we need him gone. The front line has engaged. Right, elephants, in you go. That's another general over there. Uh, you two, turn round and try and help out. You start marching forwards. Oh, come on, why can't we get the general? Get him killed. No, no, who was that? Pyrrhus, why? Hold on a minute. We lost our general. How much do we outnumber them by? What's the actual odds that it's our general that dies first? Ah, oh, about one in seven, something like that. Ah, oh, that's not good. Oh well, his sons didn't have to take over. Well, that's the end of Pyrrhus's story. I guess you could call this a Pyrrhic victory. <laughs> I don't think it's actually that bad, like, you know, we're not that reliant on Pyrrhus, are we? You know, overall, we destroyed Rome at the expense of just really one man, like everyone else we lost. I'm happy to have lost them. Alright, anyway, let's run down the rest of these Romans. I want them all gone, as revenge, after the loss of our great king. He was gonna be a second Alexander. Alright, we destroyed 99%, but they will return to Rome, um, unfortunately, because a couple of the generals got out. Uh, but overall, I'll take that win. It's such a shame about Pyrrhus, though. We got bad odds again. Oh, we're, we're due some, we've actually, I was about to say we're due some luck, but we actually did have luck. You know, we got an easy, an easy win on the Brutii and the Scipii, so I cannot really complain. Rest in peace, Pyrrhus. Rest in peace. We march into Rome. Oh, we, we cannot attack it this turn. Oh, well, just build a couple of rams. Uh, who is now in charge? Um, it's this guy, isn't it? Uh, Ptolemy. And Alexander is the faction heir. Yep, they went for Tarentum. I uh, don't think there's anything we can do. They are probably going to take it. Well, anyway, Rome is ours, and I am going to exterminate the population. Uh, yeah, build something basic here, yeah. Basic buildings, we have a bit of gold right now. So just build the basic stuff. We can get really good units here. Barbarian Noble Cavalry, 10 and 15. And we can retrain our phalanxes as well. So Rome is a very good settlement for us. Uh, let's get another phalanx unit. I would like an archery range as well. I really do like this faction. Like, you know, this is more of a mini campaign where I'm just going for one goal. But overall, the actual faction itself is a really good one. I do like it. Alright, I'm looking at this now. Do we retrain or do we just go for it? Destroy the Julii. Will they have Suggestive? Or? If they have Suggestive, then doing that would be pointless. I've got to uh, take a little look. They are really weak. They do have Suggestor, so we cannot destroy them. Uh, any chance we can get... My second thought is to get a Diplomat to them. Yeah, technically we don't need to destroy the Julii. Uh, that's not in our victory objective. Our victory objective is to take the Greek land here and secure Rome. We've done that. We've done all the Italy stuff, uh, we just need to take Sicily, but if we lose Tarentum, then that's going to put us in a bad spot. Alright, well, we do re have to retrain then anyway. Ah, I don't like this position we're in. Really, the rebels are attacking me now? 
Ah, oh well, at least the Julii didn't attack. Uh, we got an Attila. Yeah, I'll take Attila. <laughs> What's he like? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, I'll take him. Oh, they, they built a fort. All right, Diplomat, it's on you. What can you get for us? Nah, they don't want to end to the fighting. Um, even if we pay them a bit. Yeah, they don't want to hear anything. Ugh. And we have to deal with the rebels as well here. Alright, these guys here pull back to Kapua. Yeah. And I'm gonna try and build a very strong front line um, in Rome. Just like fortify it up and use it to defend. Like, because the Julii are going to attack us. I can imagine. Uh, what else do we need? I might take them. Alright, the Julii are attacking. There's nothing we can do at all. Let's just give them the win. Uh, that's a bit of town watch for. Nah. Oh, seriously? Gaul has now attacked? We can't get reinforcements up there. Well, I bet we probably can do, but... Actually, yeah, we can. Wait, are they actually in range? I don't think we are. Yeah, our reinforcements do come in if they were to attack, right? That's good to know. Hopefully they won't attack now. Struggling with money again, now we lost to Ventum. Although one thing I am going to do is, like, you know, this fort, 3-4 in quite a strategic position, like, that's mine, I'm taking that. Gaul wants me to become a protectorate. I'm gonna decline, but, you know, it's not actually a that bad offer. I might just take it for, like, one turn. Okay, then, Gaul is attacking two cav units, uh, four barbarian ones, only one ram. Interesting. Alright, come on. Uh, Ptolemy, get over here quick. It's quite, quite a long distance. Hopefully, ah, uh, we're not going to be able to burn the ram down, are we? We're going to struggle, I think, to get over there in time. Right, start running now. All the way over there. If we're exhausted, that's okay. As long as we can get the troops there, we can win it. Hopefully they are in range. Good. That's a few free hits for us there. Uh, we are hitting the shield side. Maybe set up on this side instead. Oh, come on. Now you can't fire at all. What are you doing? Come on. Pay attention. Oh, now they can't fire at all. Alright, there. Now they can. Alright, at least we used all the ammunition up near enough. Alright, come on guys, get in the settlement. Uh, they should be able to hold our break. <laughs> Alright, you guys regroup. Phalanxes, get on in here, you gotta be quick. Uh, probably exhausted, yep, near enough. Alright, these ha just have to hold out on the plaza. That's it, that's all they have to do. And we, they have bought us enough time. Our troops have now arrived, uh, which is what we wanted. Sadly, not enough. I would have liked to have got these on the plaza. Uh, but I, I think it is a little too late for that, possibly. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's too late. Right. All right, Phalanx is down. Right, how are they going to react to this? Are they going to charge it? Yes, that's what I wanted. They are capturing the plaza, though, so we have to deal with this very quickly. Their general's right there. We've got Ptolemy here on the flank ready. Right, charging now. Now their general's in. Now we go in. Ah, we don't have our little trumpet. That's not going to be good. But we've got him engaged in the phalanx. Come on, general, get in there. Just kill their general, then pull out. And then we can win it. Right, he's broken. We killed him. Right, now. Do we just chase him down? I think we do. Yeah, go all out in. Yeah, we, we got it. Well done, soldiers. Well done. Oof, had me worried there for a second. Uh, there we go. We did it. That should teach those goals a good lesson. The Cav did get away, or mostly. Actually, we're going to be able to pick off this unit, aren't we? Yeah, because they retreated the wrong path. There we go. We got most of them gone. 98% of them were destroyed. That was a good victory. Well done, soldiers. Oh, oh. The army cannot reach, but the elephants can. We can just reach. And they moved outside. We, we have to do it. Wait, not all the cav can reach? 
then who can? Like this guy can. That's all who can reach. Oh, of course they'd have a unit of three REI in there, wouldn't they? <laughs> of course they would. Alright, I'll take that auto-resolve there. I would take it. Um, exterminate population. Just occupy at this point. We need it for the troops. Alright, but now what is the Julii response going to be? We have a general here, so if they attack us here, it could be tragic. If they put us under siege, it might not be so bad. Well, oh, we can get these three guys up here. Yes, I knew leaving the skirmishers behind would help us later on. Uh, bring them into the army. And did they disband? What happened? Where did they go? Wait, well, <laughs> hold on a minute. Now I'm worried. <laughs> I don't know where they've gone. Oh, poo. This could really mess me up. I bet they're here. But I don't know. Oh, poo. Right, the fort's under siege. That's fine. Uh, let's recruit... Yeah, keep going for more phalanxes. Oh, I don't know where they are, and that has me worried. Right. Skirmishers, there they are. Okay. Okay, they're right there. Let's put the army back together. All right, here we are. This is the army right now. We're going to be able to fight the Julii on the field, which is what I was wanting, not as a siege. They are a little bit weakened. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. We don't have that much cav left, though. This is going to be a tough one, I think. Massive cav charge is going to be the opener. I'm fine with that. Like, we're a phalanx faction. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Give it a go. Alright, they've stopped, but our archers are firing because we do have the high ground. Do we take out the cav on this side? I think we do. What, what, what are they doing? I don't know. Uh, right, pull more to the flank. This is fine with me. This is fine, it buys me time. Alright, general's gonna go in as well. Massive cav hit on this side, that's the plan. Archers getting a lot of kills, good. Alright, and then we hit them on the side. Yeah, charging through those trees wasn't great. Then we hit the Velites. Come on, but we have to kill the Light Cav first. That's a lot of Velites they have. Come on. Uh, that's Town Watch. I'm okay to fight that. Alright, get the General in there. Alright, get the Reinforcing Cav in there. Alright, calm it down, calm it down. Heroic Death, really. Again. Oh, Town Watch OP. I say it every time. <laughs> Ah, oh, well. It wasn't the main general, so we're okay. Oh, th these town watch actually are destroying us right now. Ah, oh, we're not in a good spot. I want to pull out, but if we pull out, that's going to make it worse. So we just have to hold it for now. Hold it all together. Right, good. We finally broke the town watch. Come on, come on. Are they pulling away all together? I think they are. Right, get our general out of there then. Come on. Can he flee? No, he couldn't flee. Of course, he would be all the way over here, and that's a defeat. Oh, oh no, they're pulling away. I I'm counting that battle as a loss, though. Like, that was that was a defeat for me. We lost our generals. We, we gained nothing. We lost our cav as well, almost. Oh, I'm counting that as a defeat. Well, they pulled back all the way over there. Ah, oh, we got a man of the hour. Maybe not then. You know what, that's okay all of a sudden. I don't mind it as much. Maybe I'm too hard on myself. I do think I am too hard on myself at times uh, with this game. I always go for perfection too much. Alright, new faction there is this guy. It's Attila. <laughs> the family's a mess right now. <laughs> Typical Melkor killing off all his generals. I'd like to get this guy over here. Well, really, at this point, we only have to take uh, Sicily. Do I have the troops to do it? I think I do. I want another spy there. And I'm gonna need a boat as well. Too expensive. Come on, Julie. I, how about peace talks? Like, <laughs> we're both in a terrible state right now. It would be good for both of us. Like, no one's gaining from this war at this point. Uh, I doubt they would, though. That, they're putting Capua under threat. I don't like that. Maybe we do have to battle them once more. Well, technically we don't need Capua, so no, never mind. Uh, straight for Sicily it is. 
Alright, good. I think they're pulled back. Uh, oh, they put Rome under siege. We do need to hold Rome. Can we win it? Just as we got the archery range built as well. Oh, I've had so many Julii troops. Uh, right, board the ships anyway. Uh, pass around Italy. Those two settlements are still rebel. That one's really weak. Maybe just hop into Messana. Yeah, just quickly take that. Good, the rebel army was outside. Alright, so technically if we can take Syracuse and Lilibeum uh, before Rome falls, then we're in a good spot. Or do I bring the reinforcements up? I don't know. Well, anyway, financially, I, I'd say we're looking good now. Uh, we're in quite a good spot. Come on, any chance for ceasefire? Nah. They're bringing reinforcements in. It's like I feel we've got to go Syracuse. Uh, what's it like, are we? We need to uh, build some rams. You know what, would that put me at peace with the Julii? Because Gaul is allied to the Julii. I think it will. Does that force a peace? I think it does. Oh, they're attacking my fleet right now. There's definitely no chance of getting back to Rome. <laughs> oh, really? What is it with these rebels? They never attack my settlements. <sighs> Defeat imminent Gaul. <laughs> No, it didn't give us a ceasefire. Actually, it did. It did give us a ceasefire. But then Gaul betrayed us. They went to war with us. And then the Julii went to war with us. So it got us a ceasefire. They had to abandon the siege. And now the siege is reset. That's good. That works. I'll take that. <laughs> Alright, Rebel Syracuse is now ours. We are slowly uniting the Greek territories back. Uh, leave behind them. Now go up and smash those rebels, yeah. Get away, don't don't come back. They have Tarentum under siege now. I think we can, e yeah, we can easily win that one bar. Uh, that's fine, we've got like three generals in Epirus. Uh, but nothing we can really do about them. Uh, because the rebels control the sea. We have an army here, can we get to Lilibeum? We'll be close. Alright, uh, drop off the troops here. I can't see. Please have Lilibeum weak. Please don't attack me, Julii. One more turn. Really, Macedon went to war and now the Romans are attacking. Oh. We need to win this battle. We have phalanxes. It's not a bad position, really. It doesn't look too bad. I'll give it a go. Alright, is the advantage with the walls? I don't think... The walls will help, but I don't think it is. Yeah, we only have the tower, don't we? Well, the main gatehouse. Yeah, pull back to the plaza. All right, I think that is a good setup right there. These are technically on the plaza. And then maybe have one more line like this as the back line. Yeah, just to secure us that little bit more. All right, then. Let's see what we can do. General's here just to hold these guys' morale. They might be able to do something. Hopefully. Or should I just pull them back? Keep them alive? I might, I might do that. I'm undecided. Alright. Ram's on fire. Nothing we can do then. Yeah, pull them back. Although, if we get them here, this tower will shoot for longer. Yeah, and they'll waste their Velites ammo on us, won't they? Right, so in, in that case, yeah, sure. Get over here. Bring the general back so these can hold. Yeah, that keeps this tower firing at them, which is going to be very good for us. They're wasting their ammo. Basically killing nobody. And towers firing like a machine gun. Uh, those principes could be a problem if they go for my general, but they're not doing. Good. Alright, your job? To slow them down, that's it. Slow them down. How's their morale? They're shaken. They're wavering. Ooh. Try pull it together. Shaken. Wavering. Shaken. Come on, just hold. They're doing a good job. Like, they're getting a lot of kills for us. Uh, through the towers. Right, they've broken. But they've done a fight to the death. Alright, pull the general out at this point. Should be okay. Alright, they took the gatehouse. And they're in. They're going to charge our phalanxes next. Come on, we need this line to hold. It should do. I cannot see it falling. It's like it's more of a cavalry army we're up against. Come on, charge at us. Give us all you've got. 
This is what I wanted at Rome, it to be an impenetrable fortress. D didn't get the chance to build it up as big as I wanted it, but I think it's close enough. Yeah, yeah, that's their general. If the general can't make it, then nobody's going to. Uh, the Velites might be a nuisance for her. And now they're throwing in the peeler. I was worried about that, but... Come on, soldiers, you need to hold. Ah, uh, what's this? Are they coming round the flank? With what the... That's fine, like three Hastate or something. That's okay. Uh, can we actually hold out here? Right, you're done after swooping onto them. You're done after march forwards onto these. Good, they're all breaking right now. Stop. Alright, everyone back into formation. Alright, uh, alright, 13 has started. Right, you pull over here, the weakest squad, and set up there. Right, you put your phalanxes down. You're done after charge them. And we should be able to hold this now. Yeah, there's nothing they can do. They've done a break here as well, hopefully. Come on, Attila. Right, they, they completely melted those guys. Uh, that's perfect. And there we go. We won at the Siege of Rome. Oof. Although I was a little worried at some points, we definitely got the win there. That was good for us. We needed that. Heroic victory as well. Well done, Attila. Well done. <laughs> Attila. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't look good. Rebels attacking us again. Alright, there we go. The final settlement to take. Yeah, that, that's going to be fine. We should be fine there. They're not going to attack Tarentum. I highly doubt it. Actually, we can get our general there. Yeah, so he should help out. Yeah, that's fine. We should hold on to that. Uh, that looks all good. They're not going to attack us. Surely not. Yeah, they, they won't win it anyway. And now it's time to take Lilibayum. And with one final auto-resolve victory, we do it. Mission complete. There we go. Save the Greeks in... Ah, you know what. Shall we fight this one as well, just to say we did? Ah, I, 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 I can't be bothered. <laughs> Alright, I'll take a draw. Uh, can we get these two up here? Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm just messing around at that point. I, I don't actually care. But there we go. We saved the Greeks in southern Italy. Uh, we took Rome and we saved the Greeks in Sicily as well. It's a bit of a mess, but overall I don't think it's that bad. Like, we're going to win here. Rome's going to hold out for almost ever. And, you know, those rebels aren't going to take Masana, so, yeah. Like, five more turns, we should be able to uh, secure our position. This mod here was made by Eduardo Souza. A uh, big thank you to him uh, for making this mod for me to cover. There's a download link in the description below if any of you want to try it out. I do highly recommend it. The mod comes with Epivus as a playable faction. Uh, there's two different variants of the campaign. There's the Pyrrhus one, which starts at 281, and you know, you start with your army and all that. And then there's a second one where Epirus, you know, it's 270 BC, everything normal, Epirus starts off as a faction. It replaces Dacia, um, if anyone was wondering. So yeah, there's two different versions of the mod, and both of them come with a Caesar in Gaul campaign as well, uh, which I am going to be trying tomorrow as an AI only. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be a fun AI only campaign, but anyway, I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you to Eduardo Souza for the mod, link in the description, uh, subscribe for more, like the video if you enjoyed, share with anybody you think may be interested, but for now, until the next one tomorrow's video, goodbye.